I'm PTV's Josie Koontz. Thanks for joining us here on PTV. To kick off our show, we are going to start with today's SRT and after school meetings. Future Teachers of America, you guys are meeting in room 216. The Player Club is meeting now in room 207. Our Sunshine Society is meeting in room 211. And after school from 3.30 to 5.30 is our Robotics Club that will be gathering in room 141. Plymouth High School hosted a blood drive Wednesday in the multi-purpose room during school hours. More than 130 students and staff members literally rolled up their sleeve and gave blood. The American Red Cross says almost 20% of the millions of blood donations made each year come from high school and college blood drives. Teacher Laura Cryer organizes the annual blood drive and says it's a great feeling to see PHS students and staff working together for a great cause. My co-anchor Josie has created a short film last May and she has been given the opportunity to have it shown at the Lake Max Film Festival to have a possibility of winning $500. The winning film is selected by the audience, so our PTV crew would really like to drum up some support for Josie's film. Everyone is welcome to head to the Employee Auditorium at Culver Academies tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. to watch the premiere showing. Here's a clip from her film titled Marie. Marie, right? Yeah, that's me. It's pretty cool you were able to put together this party in just a few hours. Well, my parents are on vacation in San Francisco, so I figured, why not? Yeah. <laughs> So, you were there for the summer, right? Cool, that must have been fun. I guess. Do you want to go inside? Yeah. Good luck to you, Josie. Plymouth High School's Lauren Mattern is organizing the second Marshall County 5K against domestic violence. This year's 5K will be held in honor of Serenity Wilson. The two-year-old died from a blunt force trauma. She passed away two years ago this coming September, a day after she was beat unconscious by a person who was said to be a family friend. All proceeds raised for the 5K will go to the Hemminger House here in Plymouth, a local shelter for women and children. The shelter provides caring, healing, and educational service for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. The 5K will take place on November 7th from 9 to 2 at Centennial Park. Mattern's goal is to raise $6,000. Adult registration is $25. Student registration is $15. Registrants receive a t-shirt with their paid 5K purchase. The deadline to register online is quickly approaching September 7th. The Plymouth boys baseball team will be busy working the Blueberry Festival starting tomorrow trying to score a home run on their annual fundraiser. New this year, the team will be selling refreshing 3-ounce cups of frozen blueberries. Whipped topping is optional. Coach Wolf and his team will be opening up their restrooms once again at Bill Nixon Field in Centennial Park. The team will also be selling bottles of Colgan water for $1 and the use of the restroom for $0.50. Cents. The restrooms are clean and have running water, which totally beats your other option at the festival, which is more than likely a porta potty. LaVille High School is sponsoring an Out of the Darkness community walk, raising awareness against suicide. Details on this event is still being organized, but we do know that the date of the event is October 1st. Please email Mrs. Porteous if you are interested in representing PHS and taking part it's a subject near and very dear to several of our students and staff. Each year, PHS presents information about bullying prevention to students. On Tuesday, September 5th, when we return from our day off on Labor Day, you will be walking through this material with your homeroom teacher. The PHS Guidance Department thought you may like to review it ahead of time. So to check out the presentation, just visit our PTV at PHS website, where our PTV crew has attached a link to the presentation. Please remember that PHS takes bullying very seriously and we truly need everyone's help to counteract bullying. Any student who believes that they have been or currently are the victim of bullying should immediately report the situation to a hall monitor, a teacher, a counselor, or a principal. It is really important to report a situation early so PHS can help sooner than later. Also remember that you can report anonymously if you would prefer by going to the PCSC website, clicking on the student tab, and choosing anonymous tip line. The PEO Star Scholarship deadline is quickly approaching. It is Friday, September 8th at midnight. The criteria is you have to be a female, sorry guys, a member of class 2018, and a resident of Marshall County. Candidates should exhibit excellent leadership, academics, 
extracurricular activities, and community service. The minimum unweighted GPA of 3.0 on a 4.0 scale, be a U.S. citizen or legal resident, and plans to attend a post-secondary school full or part-time in fall of 2018. This is a non-renewable $2,500 scholarship for graduating high school senior girls, which must be used in the academic year following graduation or it will be forfeited. Applications can be picked up in the guidance office or the GO Center. Visit our PTV at PHS website for more information on this scholarship. Now let's take a look at what's for lunch today. On the menu for today's lunch, we will be having a hot dog on bun, baked beans, and the ever so popular fruit and veggie bar. Plymouth High School is once again the Blueberry Parking official spot. The parking cost per vehicle is $8 for a daily pass or $16 for an entire weekend pass, which allows you access to and from the lot on all four festival days and nights. Included in the high school parking cost is a free tram ticket. Tram shuttle festival goers back and forth from the heart of the Blueberry Fest and the high school. Part of the parking proceeds will benefit the following Plymouth High School student programs, groups, and clubs. Speech and debate, band, choir, acting, stage crew, yearbook, robotics, Spanish, student publications, and AFS, formerly American Field Service Student Exchange Program. Also, Webster and Washington Discovery Academy, PTO, will be parking vehicles directly northwest from Plymouth High School in the adjacent amphitheater lot for $7. I'm Bon Jovi and you're watching me on PTV News. Radio and television broadcasting is a one-hour, dual-credit, year-long class held on third hour for all PHS students. From the rock pile to the sidelines to Notre Dame games to the theater stage, the options are endless. Each week as a team, we produce a fast-paced show right here in the TV studio. Sign up today. Stop by the counselor's office to enroll in radio and TV broadcasting. We have a lot to come on this week's edition of PTV. Find out what's on the PTV Sports Rundown for tonight. Plus, we have the details about this Friday night's game. And we have a new trivia question with a new prize, donuts. The question is coming up after this quick commercial break. Hi everybody, this is Allison Hayes from the Big Ten Network and ABC 57 Saturday kickoff. You're watching PTV Sports. Now it's time to take a look at PTV's sports rundown for tonight. At 4.30 p.m., the boys' tennis team takes on Warsaw here at home. At 5 o'clock, we've got four separate sporting events taking place. Those are the cross-country team takes on John Glenn here at home. Girls' golf is on the road at Northwood taking on Elkhart Memorial. The girls' soccer team is at LaVille. And the ninth grade volleyball is here at home taking on Wawasee. At 5.30 p.m., our freshman football team will battle the Riley Wildcats here at the Rock Pile. Meanwhile, at 6 p.m., the Pilgrims boys soccer team will take on Goshen at home. Last Friday, the Plymouth Rockies faced Hammond Morton for the very first time ever. As usual, I was on the sidelines representing PTV and capturing these highlights to bring to you today. It was a great game for the Rockies, especially for players Joe Barron, Blake Reed, Braxton Bennett, and Benji Nixon. Barron made his varsity debut, and Reed, Bennett, and Nixon all contributed in making touchdowns, allowing the team to go on and win by a landslide, 50-13. to 13. Congratulations on the great win, boys. Tomorrow is Football Friday, and the Rockies will be traveling to Warsaw to take on the Warsaw Tigers. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. If you haven't been to Warsaw for an away game, one thing important to note, they have a pretty big stadium with new turf, just like ours. The visiting team always looks small in comparison to their home fans, so we really need a big group of students to show our support for Coach Barron and our Rockies. So we hope to see everyone on Friday night in Warsaw. The Fighting Irish opened the 2017 season in a renovated, reconfigured Notre Dame Stadium on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. against the Temple Owls. If you watched PTV last year, then you probably remember the University of Notre Dame granted us media credentials to cover the Irish. Two lucky PTV crew members got picked and are going to be representing PTV. Those members are Courtney Cook and Elizabeth Sutterby. Look for them on the sidelines if you're watching the game on NBC because chances are you'll see them. 
they will be bringing you live coverage from the Notre Dame Stadium from our PTV Twitter account this Saturday. So make sure you are following us at PTV at PHS. It's now time for a look back at our PTV trivia question from last week. Our very first question of the year was, what's a ballet term for a 360 degree turn on one foot? The correct answer is a pirouette. Congratulations to room 124, Mr. Seabock. The winner was randomly selected by PTV. PTV's Elizabeth Sutterby shot this video as our PTV crew stopped by and delivered the winning prize, a big bag of popcorn. More than 20 classes participated, and we at PTV want to say thank you. Now it's time for this week's PTV's trivia question, and up for grabs we have powdered donuts. What year was Google first founded? One more time, what year was Google first founded? When your SRT figures out the answer, have your SRT teacher email us right here at phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Make sure you get your answer in quick because no school tomorrow. We want to get the winning prize to the winning classroom ASAP today. Again, SRT teachers, the email address to send your answer is phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. We will be picking the winning room at 10.50. Good luck to everybody and may the odds be ever in your favor. Good luck everyone. Thank you for watching this week's edition of PTV at PHS. Make sure you visit our website because we have a super quick survey where you can actually pick our next PTV trivia prize. We would also appreciate you letting us know what you want to see on the show this year because we are currently brainstorming some cool ideas. I'm PTV's Courtney Cook. Have a great extended weekend everyone. I'm PTV's Josie Kuntz. See you next Thursday, everyone. Or maybe we'll see you at the game tomorrow night or the Blueberry Festival this Labor Day weekend. Who knows?